In this video, I will demonstrate how to use data table and go seek. They are types of what if analysis in Excel. So first, let's take a look at the problem. This is a manufacturing problem. I have two scenarios. I can manufacture my own product or I can outsource. If I manufacture, I have a fixed cost of $234,000 upfront. I have $2 cost per unit. If I outsource, I don't have an upfront fixed cost. I just have a slightly higher cost per unit. And then I have the quantity for right now, I put in 10,000 unit. So we want to find out at what quantity is outsourcing more cost effective than manufacturing. Let's calculate the total cost to manufacture. That should be equal to the fixed cost plus cost per unit multiplied by quantity. And then for outsource, the total cost will be equal to just the cost per unit multiplied by quantity. And then the savings due to outsourcing will be equals to the total cost to manufacture minus the total cost to outsource. So at 10,000 units, we have a positive saving, meaning that outsource is more cost effective. Now, if we change into 100,000 units, we have less savings, however, still positive savings. So outsource is still better. What if we put in 200,000? Then we have a negative savings. So at this point, it's cheaper to manufacture than outsource. But how do we find that break even point? So we can keep trying by changing the value of the quantity. And each time we take a look at the result of the saving, we can use a method of the means of a range to try and find out that value. So for example, at 200,000, we find a negative at 100,000, it's positive. So then we know that break even point of the quantity should be between 100 and 200,000. So we take 150,000, right, which is in the middle. So then we have positive savings of $9,000. So then we know that the break even point should be between 150,000 and 200,000. So if we take the mean of that, that's 175,000. If we put in 175,000, then we have a negative uh, saving again. So now we know that the break even point should be between the 150,000 and 175,000. We take the mean of it, which is 162,000. And we still have negative. So we continue on, right? 156,000. And now we have arrived at zero savings. So this is the break even point. At this quantity, it costs the same manufacturing versus outsource. But you can see that this process is not very efficient, right? It takes a long time to try multiple values and calculate the means and so on. And so is there a better method? There is a better method and it's called the data table. So data table is an Excel tool that quantifies the impact of changing the value of a specific input on the output. So we have two kinds of data table. One way data table takes one input that is to use either row value or column value. Two way data table uses two inputs and that is to use both row and column values. So let's take a look at how we solve this problem using data table. So we enter the quantity of zero and 25,000 and then we can pull it down all the way to 300,000. And for saving due to outsource, and we want to find out the savings, that's our output. And then we want to highlight the area and then under data, what if analysis data table, we're going to use the one way data table first, and we only need one input and we use the quantity in the column input and click OK. So we can see that these are the savings at different quantities. And we can say that between 150,000 and 175,000, we have a break even point because it turns from positive 
to negative value in terms of savings. So we can see all this different quantity and their savings quickly. Okay, so next let's use the two-way data table to consider both the various outsource costs per unit and the various quantity. So first, let's copy the quantity. And then we're going to use the savings as the output. And then we're going to have different outsource costs per unit, ranging from 2.89 to 3.59. Now we highlight the area and under data, what if analysis, select data table. And this time we have two input um, variable. One is the outsource cost per unit. We'll put it under the row input. And then for the column input, we will use the quantity like last time. Click OK. And so now we can see a different outsource cost and different quantity. This should be quantity and we're seeing different break-even points at the lower outsource cost per unit we have a break-even point happening at the large quantity and the more expensive the outsource cost per unit is the smaller the quantity becomes in terms of the break-even points yeah so this is one-way data table and two-way data table so both of them uh, determines the savings due to outsourcing. And the first one use the quantity as the input. The second one use quantity and outsource cost per unit as the input. You might have noticed that the data table still can't give us the break even point immediately. So is there a better method? There is, and it's called the gold seek and which is another what if analysis method in the goal seek we can tell excel what's our goal and by changing what variable we can reach that goal so let's try that first to be fair let's change the quantity so that the savings due to outsourcing is not already zero which is already break even point so let's change that back to 100,000. And so now under data, under what if analysis, go seek. And so for the set cell, that's our target output. So we're going to select the B18, which is the saving due to outsourcing. Our goal is for it to reach the value of zero, which is the break even point. And by changing the cell of quantity, which is cell B12, click OK. And this going to happen really quickly that you try out different quantities just like I explained in the beginning of the video how how we can manually calculate and take the mean of a range and narrow it down right so it did it really quickly and it found a solution and that is 156,000 units and we reach the saving due to outsourcing to be the target value of zero so this is go seek uh, feature that can help us quickly find out by changing a variable, we can find the solution for a output to reach the target value.